Good morning, good afternoon, good night guys. What is up? We are in Hollywood Studios today. And there's something I haven't done in a long time, is build a lightsaber. If you guys haven't seen any of my Star Wars videos, go check them out right now. I love the lightsaber, I love how it brings interactions. Unfortunately, there's not as many characters interact with. However, you can still get a lightsaber here in Disney World and possibly in the future Disneyland. So if you want to see what that's like, Join me on this journey today as we go buy a new lightsaber. I'm very excited. If you enjoyed this vlog, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, and uh, ring that bell. Let's get this vlog started. If you're new to my channel or just haven't seen a Disney video about Galaxy's Edge, there's a part of the park in Hollywood Studios, in Disney World, and in Disneyland where you can actually go to a fully themed, decked out Star Wars world. Star Wars land, you can say. And they make and build lightsabers there. Obviously, if you haven't seen any of those videos, go check them out right now. There's a playlist right here. However, today you cannot make your own lightsaber, but you can still buy lightsabers. So today I'm going to teach you and show you where you can get your own lightsaber from. You know, at the end of this video, I might actually do a giveaway for one of my new lightsabers, so stay tuned. And uh, this is the one I built. I love it. It has a green kyber crystal. You can always change the color of the lightsaber, but of course, I gotta take it out if we're going into Galaxy's Edge. Let's go. For what it's worth, you can actually go to Tatooine Traders, which is right next to Star Tours the Ride, and get yourself a smaller, cheaper, and less uh, quality lightsaber. Let me show you. These lightsabers are definitely lower quality, however, they are a lot cheaper. This is only $40 compared to this, which is about $200. You can also even build your own lightsaber over here, but again, like I said, a little less of quality, but maybe this would be good for a kid. Now, here we are at the entrance to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The home planet's called Batuu, actually. And on Batuu, you can find two rides, Rise of the Resistance and Smuggler's Run. Maybe if you're lucky, you might even see uh, Kylo Ren, some Stormtroopers, right? And Chewbacca. Now, like I said, when you go on planet, or should I say Batuu, no one knows what Disney World is. It's all themed, it's all character story driven, just the way Walt would love it. It's really cool here. I love this place. And as you see right here, this is the entrance to Star Wars, the Rise of the Resistance. You need a virtual boarding group to get onto it. I will talk about this in a future vlog. I will always call out the detail in this land. There's things that you literally will just walk by and never notice, and that's awesome because it makes every experience here super different. Like, I didn't know about these little pork statues and that huge Chewbacca. And because of COVID and keeping everyone safe, you can visit the Black Spire outpost. However, you do need to be socially distanced and there's a capacity of how many people can be in here at once. Right now, there's not too many people, so I think I'll have an easy time getting in. No luck with lightsabers. However, you can find a lot of cool little creatures that you can take home and call your own. I think my favorite is this guy right here. Cool little collectibles no matter where you go. A lot of cool Star Wars stuff for the young and old. You got shirts and you got mugs and you even got Christmas ornaments, so. If you really wanted to, you can even go ahead and build yourself a droid. The line is very short right now, so if you're thinking about wanting to build a droid, I'd recommend you get here early in the morning because right now there's only about three to four parties in line, which is amazing. Droids will cost you about $100 while lightsabers, building a lightsaber will cost $200. However, right now you cannot build a lightsaber, you can only buy lightsabers. But this is a really fun experience. I recommend it to anyone. If you haven't already, go check out my vlog on it right now, right there. Also, I'm just walking around in my lightsaber. There is even a store where you can buy first order merchandise specifically themed to the bad guys. And also, as you see in the distance, there's some uh, stormtroopers. Luckily, we avoided the stormtroopers and now we're in their merchandise store, honestly. As you see, there's a ton of first order stuff, clone troopers stuff, cool shirts, figurines, and uh, this right here is interesting. If this video somehow gets 5,000 likes, I will buy the Kylo Ren helmet, which costs $750, almost $1,000. Check this out. I kind of find it crazy that this is cheaper than the Kylo Ren helmet, but this one's at uh, 600, up. Oh. JK, $6,615, ah, okay. So if this video gets uh, 15,000 likes, which is the most views and likes I've ever gotten on a video, then I'll buy that, but that's definitely not gonna happen. That's wild. And I'm not gonna lie, I've had this bad boy for about six, seven months now, you hear this? It's broken, so it's time to get a new one. Let's go. This store right here is called Doc Ondars, and back in the day before COVID, you were able to actually buy lightsabers here. Let me show you. Now, here at Doc Ondars, you will find the coolest 
the most expensive and just the wackiest kind of memorabilia there is for Star Wars fans. You can even buy holocrons here, which are just little messages, little light up toys basically. Uh, you can get kyber crystals here, which changes the colors of your lightsabers as you see right here. You got green, blue, purple, and red available today. However, you cannot get a lightsaber here. This is going to be, um, these are recreated versions of the sabers used uh, in some of the legends. So in Doc Onders, you used to be able to buy those lightsaber legacy hilts there. Basically, the hilts come separate from the blade. You can buy the hilt, and then for an additional 50 credits, $50, you can get the actual saber. Now, because of everything that's gone on, they are not doing the build your own lightsaber um, experience. This is how I built my lightsaber. If you want to see what that was like, like I said, a ton of videos about them. Check them out. There'll be one right here, right now. But now, because of everything that's going on, you can actually buy the Legacy lightsabers in Savi's. Let me show you. Here we are at Savi's workshop. Normally, Savi and all of his friends and workers are messing with scrap metal, making lightsabers. But because of social distance and being safe, you can actually get your lightsaber in here. There's numbers, so you go in one at a time, and then you go in the back way. It's kind of hidden and it's kind of not really known, so, hello. So you're looking to uh, take a look at our legacy hilt, yes. right? Yes, yes. Yep. And you're aware that they're not like our... Yeah, our scrap metal stuff, I got you. Yes. Yeah. Savi is currently off planet looking for scrap. Perfect, so, yeah. yeah. Right now he's running out to Dark on Darren. Here you can take a look at all the replica helps from your favorite legends, such as Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yes, right? perfect, thank you. And you're going to be right here for me, my friend. Fun fact, so there's a limited capacity while you're in there, so of course there's a line while you're waiting to grab a new lightsaber. However, while we were waiting here, guys, I actually... Oh my god! Okay, I swear I thought I fixed it. Now it's not making that sound again. I'm gonna fix this, I swear. Okay, now it should work. There we go, see? Green lightsaber, green kyber crystal. So maybe I won't get a new one today because this one's working out fine and honestly I'm a sentimental kind of person and I love this. But I'm still gonna show you where you can get your own from. <laughs> Sorry, hello. I see we already have some. We got we got some scrap metal here, yes. I thought my scrap metal was broken, but I fixed it, so we're good. Okay, you're good with it? Okay. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Was it an energy cell issue? Yeah, more of a kyber crystal thing. Oh. A little yeah, yeah, it's just a little I think I think I think we're good now. I'm there you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly like how, but don't worry, we're, we're, we ain't like that, no, no bad issues. So these are all the legacy lightsabers you can purchase today here at uh, Savi's, right? Savi's yeah, not yeah, here, right? but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Awesome. Is there any way we can try out uh, Kylo Ren's? Even though we were just talking about it. I swear, we're not, we're not going to the dark side or anything. We're just... <laughs> there we go. We just got this one back in stock recently as well. Oh, wow, this really? It's going to be his switch, so you'll just slide up on that piece to ignite it. So awesome. All right? Wow. The weight's pretty good, guys. Not going to lie. Okay, let's see. Let's see. My, my best friend Dan uh, wants this one. Let's see. Slide it. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Wow, guys. There's that crackle. There's that crackle with the broken kyber crystal. Wow. So guys, as you can see, this is where you can actually purchase any of these legacy lightsabers. The legacy lightsabers, if you didn't know, are themed after the main characters and some side characters of the Star Wars trilogy, legacy, series, whatever. And you got them all right here. Very cool. Which one's your favorite? As I hold a lightsaber in front of you. <laughs> Don't worry. Especially Kylo Ren. Yeah. Probably Ben Solo's when he was training with Luke or Ahsoka Tano's mm. because she was Anakin's Padawan. Oh, so. we love Ahsoka. A little special place in my heart. Oh. So just to let you guys know, these all have different prices. They do scale. These are all about 130, 140. Kylo Ren's is 150, and Ahsoka Tano's is about 200. Now, like I said earlier, there is a separate price for the saber. This, how much credits is this saber? This one's gonna be 45 and the taller one is 50. So if you want a light, um, a longer, like, saber, honestly, this one's a little more expensive, that one's cheaper, and just to compare for anyone who knows the thing or two, the creature own lightsaber is kind of in the middle. So three different heights for the saber lens. Keeping you all informed if you ever make it to but two. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, wait, that's so cool. <laughs> when you turn this when you turn this thing on, guys, it's insane. Alright, guys. Well, today I'm not gonna buy any lightsabers, even though Kylo Ren is on my list. <laughs> However, if this video gets 
a thousand likes will do that. A thousand, if this video gets a thousand likes, I almost hit, I almost hit <laughs> someone with my light there. I'm so sorry. If this video gets a thousand likes, I will make a giveaway for this Kylo Ren lightsaber just to show my thank you and respect for you guys. Um, and let me tell you guys, this is this is this is, this is kind of worth it. I, I, the more I hold on to this thing, the more I just want to buy it right now. So uh, yeah. All set. Thank you so much, Stacy, for uh, explaining everything, showing it around. I'm sure many people will appreciate that when they come for their own visit to Batu. Always here. And to add to the treats and stuff, we can see Chewbacca and Ray in the distance. We love these two. Let's see if we can say hi to Chewbacca. It's always good to say hi. Hi, Chewbacca. How are you doing today? Hello, Ray. Long time no see. How are you? How are you today, Ray? Good. I was just checking out some lightsabers back on Batu. Really? You like it? I, you, I don't think you could tell, but it's green. It has, I did make it. What color would you pick? If you could pick a lightsaber color, what would you pick? What? Okay, green. It, you can't tell, but it is green. This is green. This is green. How's everything been? I haven't seen any stormtroopers today. I'll keep a lookout. I will. Good seeing you, Ray. Thank you so much. Bye, Chewie. I love Chewbacca. Bye. I'd give you this if I could, but I can't. Do you want it? Do you want it? Yeah, do you want it? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. You already got that. All right, fair enough. Well, thank you. Have a good day. All right, guys. Well, it's been a fun day here in Batu. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope you got some information about how the lightsaber system works now in Disney World. We even got to saw Ray and Chewbacca at the end of the day, which is always a plus. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please share it to all your Star Wars friends. Anyone who's planning a Disney World vacation soon and wants to check out this place, just keep them informed, stay informed. And I really do hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for the support. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. And like always, remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.